Hi, uh, welcome to another training video. Uh, this one's on Illustrator. Uh, we're going to look at creating this t shirt here, this lovely polka dot t shirt. Might not look exactly the same, but we'll see how it goes. The first thing is that we're in Illustrator, we're going to create a new file. So if we click on File and New, accept the default there, click on OK, and we've got a new page here. The first thing we're, then we're going to do is we're going to create, I suppose, half of a t shirt and then blend it together. So if you haven't already used it, we're going to use the pen tool here on the left hand side. I'm just going to remove my fill, but keep my stroke here. I'm going to use that to draw half my t-shirt, so let's have a look here. So I'm going to start off in the middle. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect, mine won't. So click once, click up about here is the v-neck, click over here to the right, down a bit, click in here a bit, down to the bottom, so I mean tape it in a bit there across there, so see here the intersect, it lines up with this point, top point here, so if I just highlight over here, give that a click, set the top, click on there, and that's half of our t-shirt. So let's give this t-shirt an initial colour, shall we, so back to our pointer tool at the top there, I should be able to zoom in so you can see that, uh, there we go, so that pointer tool at the top there. I'm going to go back and double click, our, well click once on my fill, and over select my colour from the colour palette over here and I'll choose, what did I say, red so there we go, half my t-shirt there is red let's zoom back so you can see excellent, so uh, I need to reflect that so I'm going to go up to object from the top down to transform and across to reflect so I'm going to click on reflect I want to create a copy of it it's going to be uh, a vertical reflect so left to right click on copy and it creates a copy of that if I just drag that off and oh so it's not finished the shape which is that's better and let's try that again shall we object transform reflect and copy if you do a copy of the shape there we go we've got a reflection let's bring the t-shirt together so if you're a fat person or wide you can make the t-shirt like this if you want to make yourself a little thinner, I'm just going to drag it in, make it there, there we go. If I'm going to make it too wide, that's good. Brilliant. And I could probably adjust this afterwards. But we're going to bring this t-shirt together by using the Pathfinder tool. So select the t-shirt, go over to the right hand side and select the Pathfinder button. You can also get that available from the window menu here at the top. Again, go down to Pathfinder here. And there you go, you see you've got the Pathfinder window appears. So we're going to use a shape mode section on the Pathfinder window. Click on that, and then if you look, you see this is united. You see there's no line in between here, so it's one t-shirt. Good, so I'm just going to make a couple of uh, adjustments here so it doesn't look too symmetrical. Uh, I don't want that, so I'm just going to go over to the white arrow tool, my direct selection tool here, which allows me to control these anchor points click on this underarm here, this armpit here, notice that that anchor point is blue while the rest of them are hollow, so that's solid blue, these ones are hollow okay, I'm just going to move back so you can see I'm going to click now and I drag that up a little bit to create a thinner arm uh, should do the trick here, that will do, excellent and I'll do the same with the other side, just click and drag up to create a thinner arm this is a v-neck here, um, I'm going to change this so it's more of a halter neck or just a, a halter neck, a, a rounded neck here if that's what you call it. So just zoom back. I'm going to choose my convert anchor point tool. Hover over here and click and just drag in the left direction. You can see it turns my t shirt into a little bit of a V. If I want to make sure it's absolutely straight, hold down the shift key as I do it and let go. And you see now I've got a nice V neck going on my t shirt. So as I said, we want to create a poster, polka dot sort of pattern for this. So I'm just going to drag this up to the top, get a little bit out of the way and click away to deselect it. We'll come back to that. What we're going to do is create a pattern brush so that we can fill this t-shirt with a fancy pattern. Um, so let's have a look here. We're going to use the ellipse tool and we're going to create some fancy patterns here. The first thing is, is I don't want any strokes. So if I remove my stroke, you see how I've done that? I just go down here to show you. I clicked on the stroke and clicked on the button for none. I'm going to click on the fill colour here, I zoom back, and I'm going to choose a yellow colour for the fill and hold down the shift key so I draw in a circle. So I have one circle there, now I'll keep that as yellow. I'll do another one a little bigger over here, I'll change that one to green, and I'll do another one, say, here ish or so, that'll do. I'll change that one to red, 
Should I do one more? Yeah, let's be. Yeah, let's give it a nice pink one. That'll be good. So over here, I'm going to choose pink. There we go. A bit brighter. That's it. So here we go. This is going to establish our pattern for the pattern brush. To make things easier to work with, I'm going to group them together. So just select them here. I'm going to go up to Object and Group. So they will all become one uh, shape. So if I click away and then just click and drag, you see they all move together. So they're one group. Now, to make a pattern brush out of this, I need the swatches panel. So if I go up to Window and down to Swatches, it's at the very bottom here. I don't know if you can see it here. In fact, uh, it's just off this list here, but this isn't actually big enough. If I click here, you can see. There we go. There's swatches just there. So here's our swatches panel here. Zoom back a bit. So I'm going to drag literally the pattern across and onto the swatches panel. You see here, there's my new swatch. Brilliant. So now I've got the swatch here. I have no need for this, so I'm just going to highlight it. And I tell you what, I'm not going to delete it. I might want to muck around with it a little bit so I'm just going to drag it down to this bottom bit here and that's it just a bit out of the way so to fill this t-shirt with that swatch you literally click on the t-shirt and click on the pattern swatch and there you go you've got your polka dot t-shirt one of the nice handy features in this CS6 version of Illustrator is you can go over and double click on the pattern swatch over here okay and it brings you up this pattern and there's a box, I'll just drag it in so you can see, to the pattern options box here. So this allows you to do stuff like adjust the size of the pattern, which will then adjust the, how the pattern works. For instance, you've got it either to a grid, brick by brick, brick, uh, you know, like a brick by column. Uh, there's different options here that you can change. I'm going to choose uh, hex by row, so they're overlapping a little bit. And then if I just want to adjust the size of it, I can go into each one and just the size. I'm going to hold the shift key down, you see here. Uh, there's a nice checkbox here that says size tile to art so that when I change the size of each one of these uh, here, I click the weight, click that on, and then I hold the shift key. Select all four. So if now I make them all bigger, you see it makes the whole pattern bigger. Excellent. So you can muck around with this to your heart's content. When you finish, click on done, and then you can see your t shirt is updated. So there we go, that's how to make a t-shirt, a polka dot patterned t-shirt in Illustrator. Uh, if you want to know any more about Illustrator or any other program that we uh, train, then please see www.computertutoring.co.uk. Thanks for listening.